last time on Dong Naropa Trigger Happy Havoc. I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program? Or are you trying to work overseas or something? Huh. My parents? I suppose. What are the question marks? Okay, anyway, so Selena brought to the vert dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Huh. Foreign government? Top secret clearance? Our right, question marks. Okay, so is that to work for the other government? All I can think of is assassin? <sighs> I got my end of the deal. Well, I got my end of the deal. Goodbye. Sweet enough. Right, I'm leaving now. That's what was waiting for a reply. He's so full of mystery. And now, back to trying to ditch school. do it. It'll turn out okay. Last time we bonded with Kirigiri and Celeste and Mondo and Taka bonded with each other. But now Marakuma had made us go to the gym. So let's get started. Hey, Carrie Geary, what's up? Oh, Carrie Geary, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Mm. Yes. I want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but. Not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Mark Kimmer tells me. Hi, Mondo! Yo! Hey, man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone ahead? <sighs> Shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's gonna, good, gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? <laughs> that shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But you know. <laughs> there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. <laughs> Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get their asses out of the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Tunnel. Anyone here? Nope. Whee. Okay. You right here? It's a fumi. Hey, you feel me? I'm, I can, you haven't gotten in yet. Why? Yeah. Is that why? Why is that? Mr. Nayagi, don't scare me like that. Uh, sorry, but we should basically go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't. Mm -hmm. 
what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. Asking us to gather here all together all of a sudden like this. What could possibly he possibly want? Well. Indeed. What am I to wait for us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting. That's for certain. <clears throat> How is that funny? Can you smell like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife at a classic TV show smells at the end of the episode. What the heck? <laughs> There's something totally messed up like if you can laugh a ton like this. <clears throat> Which one of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> That reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come and help us? How that turned out, seems like to me there's no sign of whatsoever possible rescue. Well... That, that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened? Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police stuck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind this may be just that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? <laughs> I'm on. It's not be, not be related, but <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. No, no, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night, Mon. I was near the main hall, just staring out in space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? <laughs> you heard what? Hmm. A, a, a sound that I really don't know what that was. Hmm. What, kind of, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I really don't know. <laughs> but if I had to describe it... Could it be? It was like a construction site, I guess. Construction site. Serious. I mean, I could... I could just be making that up, Mom. I just barely heard anything. <laughs> and you definitely made it up. I must have just been out in the ocean ahead of yours. So what? Boo -hoo -hoo. What you talking about, Tuck Taco? <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> Wait, here no sound we heard us on the construction. <coughs> that could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> Maybe a machine gun. Boo! I can't kinda of tell that construction in the way. What are you talking about? 
Ah, ah, ah. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a secret. A little secret. And? <coughs> Fine then. Let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't be around the bush, do you? Ready for the little point? Wait, we're making for the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I've been a little? <laughs> I'm low on energy these days. I thought you even losing all this trying to lift her. I'm thinking it's probably be become this of of this ho hum, boring everyday old everyday life. I'm looking for something more, a little more simulation, something. Rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, I'm feeling <laughs> the next block hasn't showed up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um. So, I decided I come up with a way to motivate you. Motivate? Is there some videos or something? I can show us some minute thing and try to drive us all to murder. Drive you to drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you have you got planned. We're not gonna kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Hmm. Let's make me talk. You very best. Back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets! As long as you're alive, you're given that there are things that you want other people to know about you. I did a little mistake on my own, and they got some of your darkest secrets. Those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As my chemist spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. <coughs> I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I never say pulled out what was written inside. And my entire body suddenly went rigid. What is Makoto's secret? Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. What? Oh. How? How you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. <coughs> Ooh, you have 24 hours. If someone's gonna back by then. <laughs> All your deepest darkest, most darkest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowd of intersection in the van strapped with a lost speaker in the Philippines. Yeah. And that'd be so embarrassing! That's what you meant by motive. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty pleasant, but trust me. Unless you want those to reveal those, that stuff, right? Definitely, I'd rather not, it's definitely something I'd rather not people know, but... <laughs> we never kill over, kill over something like, this, like that. How'd you say? He's right! Your plan's doomed to fail! No one's gonna murder someone over this kind of thing! This is kind of depressing. I don't know. <coughs> is it because... Oh. Oh. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what. I assume you'll be the same. <laughs> That's why I put so much 
ever in this, ever in this next mode of. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Oh, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fear not well. With an almost convincing look of depression, dejection on his face, Makuma receded into the gym's depths. I didn't know what to accept on this at first, but maybe we dodged the ball this one? Um... <coughs> I mean, yeah. I know it's really gonna, totally embarrassing. <laughs> Let's not serious enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! <laughs> Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't you just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here now? Without a doubt! We do that, any and all motives for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my brushing thing is. <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. <coughs> what? <laughs> Besides, I I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me, neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it's impossible. Oh. Uh, that's human nature when I hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come on. It's okay, just a little bit. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. I, I, someone talk about you, you mean bag of lard? Say what? I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. Hey. What do you think, Chiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I really don't want to talk about it right now. But... But I still don't want to leave things as they, the way they are. So maybe we can talk, I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk about talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. <coughs> everyone's everyone's that much against it. Even my bros the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. <coughs> well that's okay then. Either way, this is a few secrets. I'm sure no one knows about killing one over over it. Hope you're right. Secret so bad you killed someone to keep it. Maybe they got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but. You hear me? It says 24 hours to get ready. Hey, a secret exposed is gonna be fun, but not like we're gonna die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Well... The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Bedtime.
Hmm. Hmm. Nighttime already, man, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. <coughs> Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was lots of anxiety. I just couldn't shake, but <coughs> we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we head back to our rooms. <laughs> so here's your memories you want, you want to know about. We you connect to the outside world. Honestly, that all that crap about Kimura's Friday didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over with stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. Maybe I was just being optimistic. This is probably why without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. What I didn't know was even then the tragedy was taking place. Tra tragedy. Yeah, the tragedy of Monica Theater! Hey, you have a second? I don't can find you! I have a villain world attitude right now. There's between passive and active, I mean. For example, the difference between, like, oops, I killed him, and, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazing, there's a ton of people who don't know the di difference. Can you believe it? There's a, totally, there's a huge difference between oops, and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder to, to, than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? I'm foreshadowing! Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Uh, more? Mm -hmm. Good? Good morning? Good morning! Ah! Teddy bear in my bed! <laughs> <laughs> nice reaction! <coughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad to see this is point! <coughs> but, what are you doing here? I want to buy things up. Don't they have a school of man? I decided to wake you up in person. And I still consider it. What the hell for? Because <laughs> it's fun. Mm. As long as I'm here, I, I figured I'd, I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. I hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you're acting this way back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. <coughs> what? Say what? What? Your face is all blue. Coming on the verge of death. Uh, what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> Woohoo, that's for me to know. You need to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what if we're pointless? Mostly now when. Dining hall. Are you get the dining hall? Ah, ah Makoto. Uh, um. Are you okay, Mon? Hey. <laughs> Did Mon come and talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and. Him. Tagami. <coughs> Your new one's here. Where's everyone else? <coughs> either either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It 
can't be. Does it happen again? Murder. After hearing what Mike must have to say, the worst possibility of course went into my mind. Took like everything I, I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. <coughs> Come on. So if something really did happen, that means some, someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was some old, some old memories. Hmm. <laughs> Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <sighs> to judge someone's own values based on your own outlook, don't you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Well, why don't you say something, say something yesterday? Naturally. <laughs> Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do to, for me to go out of my way to help you? saying that already uh, um. <laughs> Mom, there's something saying serious wrong with him for serious did he get brainwashed or something wait <laughs> that's not important right that's not important what matters right now is that we find, we find out what happened that's fine hmm. she's right let's all split up and begin looking Hmm, the game is afoot. So, um... I had to call the doors, but no one answered. Y'all go, go see what happened? Oh, then we'll go second floor of the school. That's what was all new to all of us. It seemed like a natural place. That's what put new to all of us. So it seemed like that natural place for. Anybody here? Nope. Hey, Hakura. Yo. I'm Makoto. Mom, what do you what do you seriously think? Well, honestly, what do you think? How about what? You're serious. About about Tagami. About Tagami, Mom. You think you you can bring us or something or what? I don't know. You know more about that thing kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto. Listen, Makoto. I think I think you, Mon, uh, Mon. I think you, sh you completely understand what I do. What is I do? Okay, okay, uh, okay, Mon. Listen, listening, listen. Fortune telling is like. Well. Totally different. Totally different from brainwashing or hypo hy hypnosis or any of that that pseudo scientific bull crap. <sighs> I need to understand that. You expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudo pseudoscience? Sorry, I don't want to get yelled at. You're full of crap. You in here? Nope. Huh? 
The door's open. Am I supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation? It's all clear now. Hmm. Just as I thought. <coughs> Takami! I see. <coughs> oh, what? Ugh. Judging from what he just said, no doubt a murder had taken place. Really taken place. Come on! And the locker rooms. They're suspicious, very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems no one searched locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as I was talking to himself. While waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room. The door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. What? I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what we're looking at. But as soon as I did. <laughs> a wild, almost primal, primal scream came from my mouth. And with that. Well, uh, we'll end it here. Oh, Fushizaki was murdered. Poor Fushizaki. So, so innocent. Mm. How was he murdered? I get to find out in the investigation next time. Never stop learning. Enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.